Yo, guys, you're welcome to Gusto Live Reaction on Gusto TV Africa. You already know what time it is. You're also that no ghost, Tony Pesky out here in the building. And I got the one and only Big Lala, showstopper number one, right here, right here in your face. Lala, how are you doing now? What's good? I do okay, but who are you? You are who they do live. Yeah, wait a minute. Who are you? Do? You say they do live reaction. I say, who are you? Oh, I'm on live now, master. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not live, actually, guys. Anyways, you're welcome to Gusto Reaction. Thank you guys so much, you know, for always liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. We love you, and we truly, truly appreciate everyone. Uh, we know that, you know, as we always say, Afrobeat is that one genre of music that has done, you know, so well, you know, in the past years. And right now, it is still doing amazingly good. Uh, have you listened to um Fireboy's album? Yes, I have. I have. I've listened to that. Yeah. Album. What, what are your thoughts on on the album? Well, um, it's not a bad album. Um, on the surface, uh, the problems. Well, let me talk about the good ones first. The good things I have about it. It was a bit diverse. It was versatile. Um, okay. it wasn't trying to sound monotonous. He had different mm. sounds in there, which is a plus. Um. Mm. And then, but but with those, was that versatility? Was it the best of his versatility he brought on board? Those were my doubts I had over it. Um, I like mean, it. songs that are doing really well, I do like them. Uh, songs like uh, the Half O High Life song. Um, yeah. It's not the best of songs. That, I mean, he said he did that in 2016 or thereabouts. Yeah, 2016. 2016. Yeah, but I think that's, 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 if he didn't make the album, the first album, I think we should just, we should just have left it. Left it at that. The song, right. yeah, the song that is trending, the song that um features uh Chris Brown was was a dope one. Diana. Yeah, Diana and Shen Shen C, uh, Yeah, that was a dope one. Uh, the one that people like a lot, Ashewo. That's Ashewo, that's, yeah. That's that's new fireball right there. And, I mean, it, it makes it makes mm. a lot of sense. I like it. Mm. It's not bad, but if, if I was to rate his albums, it would be my least enjoyable album from him. Um. But yeah, it's a good album, not bad. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we know that we are in the days of you know um streaming powers and all of that. And at the moment, the album seems to that you know have done you know better than at the other album in regards to you know first day streams and all of that, getting over five hundred k streams on Spotify, you know in twenty four hours, you know and a lot of you know other things doing well also in the UK. We saw it debuted at uh number three on the album charts for Spotify. You know, in the UK, also get into some couple of chats. But then there's been talks of you know Fireboy getting the international wave, the international scene. In an interview, he said it was, uh, he would like to feature in you know, Jos as one of the international guys he really love to work with. Now, if you look at the market and the US market, uh, where do you think Fireboy should you know focus more on? Uh, looking at the fags because we have with his career at the moment. Well, I think currently his fan base is is going a lot in um in the UK. Uh, so I mean, there's a reason why part of his PR has focused on the UK because they know that his fan base there. His I don't know first major international collaboration is an Ed Sheeran, who is a big UK actor yeah. that has spread his uh, tentacles around the UK. He, people kind of know who he is slightly. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the UK, so it it, it it makes more sense for him to focus in that aspect before. Trying to do anything else, so I think UK in terms of Afro beats has been more receptive than the US market over the years. Yeah. So it makes it makes absolute sense. Even Bona himself, when he releases when he released the um, the what's it called uh, Ballon d'Or, his main focus was the UK at first. Even yeah. last night's most part of his focus was the UK. So I think UK when it comes to Afro beats is number one in terms of um in terms of the I mean where where you think you can penetrate first. I think. You can represent that, and, and it's understandable. And um, when you say his streaming powers has increased, I think over the years his fan base has increased. So it's it's no surprise that he's going to really do well streaming wise. Uh, yeah. yeah. In these platforms, but as compared to his first album, when you look at it locally, the, the guy this guy completely dominated everything locally. Actually, at, at the very moment locally, he's not dominating as he should locally. That's mm. that's one of, that's one of the things, but. Who cares about the local market? If the international guys are streaming and you're making more money, I think that's fine. Mm. So uh, right now, do you think the focus now, um, or not just fine now, you know, Nigerian artists dropping albums and projects, do you think that uh, they do not care so much about the local market now more anymore because of you know the revenue and you know funds and all of that they get from the other part of you know the world? 
I think I think the local market has has done their bit in terms of some of these artists' career. They they are more or less responsible for the initial push and making sure people, I mean, showing a, a love and support for it. Yeah. We just hope Fireboy doesn't turn around in the future and be like a burner boy and says he doesn't make his money from local, doesn't disc, I mean, discount the efforts of the local scene. The local scene has yeah. been a very, very huge um, part in Fireboy's success as an artist. So I think that's, I think that's dope. All right, all right. Uh, thank you so much for this one. Guys, what do you think? Uh, where should Fireboy focus more? The US market or uh, the UK market? Uh, before we go, Lala, uh, don't you think that uh, focusing on the US market would give him more income than the UK market? Not necessarily in terms of uh, monetary. Um, it's, it's no surprise that, for example, in the US, their, their, their population is way more. Their market is, is bigger. To say yeah, and the UK, yeah. but in terms of actual amount, I mean, cost per stream and everything is similar. So I think it's it's a phase. Um, he can do what he has to do on the on the UK scene first, and I'm seeing the sort of interviews he's going to. Those are people who are relevant in the pop culture scene in um in the UK. So once mm -hmm. he's done with that, nothing stops him from also going to the US and putting some promo in place, which I feel Empire will do because it's it's really. Yeah. Uh, for him and the success of the album. And I mean, it's still, what, a week or thereabouts so far. Yeah. I think he will, he will still, you still see him in all these US uh, primetime yeah. shows, fun, uh, interviews. They've, all, they've got it all lined up, trust me. He's going to do both. True that, true that. Guys, let us know what you think. Fireboy US or UK market, where should the new focus you know, be for the international scene? Share your thoughts down below in the comment section. I will catch you on the very, very next one. Peace out, guys. Peace out.